what's up guys we're looking today at a chicago blackhawks trade and yes you guessed it right it was the brandon sad trade unfortunately you did not guess it early enough because on the last video uh i gave a chance to give you all 10k if you could guess it right that it was the sad trade unfortunately nobody got it so i guess i get to keep my 10k so basically the sharks uh sorry the columbus blue jackets got uh, brandon sad and you know i think some players that you've never heard of in exchange they gave up artem anisimov marco dano a pick fort rounder or something like that and chicago moved dano for lad but we're keeping lad because i definitely think chicago would have been ready to pay the price for him uh regardless of having dano or not on their lineup so if you're looking at it here the lineup there's a few misses we're going to adjust it uh, like Teravainen is not there right now. Uh, this trade kind of hurts uh, Chicago down the middle. If you look at him on the reverse, uh, they really don't have a number two center. That's kind of bad. But is Anisimov really a number two center? I think that's a little far-fetched. I know he had a great season, but he's playing alongside Patrick Kane. So who wouldn't? Uh, on D again, same case scenario. They just need some depth here with Roosevelt and Van Riemsdyk. In front of the net, they got Crawford, who's pretty good, and Scott Darling. So we're going to make some few changes to the lineup. Try to get, yeah, Teravainen, as I said. He should fit in there. He's not even fitting in on the best lines. We're just going to put him in here. Obviously, Mashinter isn't going to start for us. Substitute him with Teravainen here. Uh, I don't know what's Tuevo's ability to play center. Because I think he could definitely outdo Desjardins on that second, third line, I mean. Uh, I'm not really familiar with the ability to play center here. We're going to put it there just for the rating. And if it doesn't go well, we'll change the lines. We might call up uh, Mark McNeil, Hartman, or Bickle, some of these guys. So we're going to send the full season, guys, and I'll see you at the end of the year. What's up guys and the sim is uh, pretty much complete the season is over and Chicago got 106 points 50 wins That's pretty good um, Let's just go and check out Brandon's stats here So our man Brandon sad picked up 47 points from a third line. That's actually pretty good uh, If you you know producing from a third line 47 points, I gotta say is pretty good, but here's the important thing uh, the playoffs, that's where Chicago was a huge deception this year. If you would have told me Chicago was going to lose in the first round, I would have been ready to bet my left testicle on it. And unfortunately, uh, well, fortunately, nobody offered me that bet. So can they redeem themselves on NHL 16? And this start to the Preds has been dreadful. Down 2-1 to one and they lost 1-4-1. Down three to one. Can they make the miracle comeback? No, they lose in five with two overtime losses. Um, you know, this season was a huge deception for the Blackhawks. Uh, not just the season. The season is not that bad, but the playoffs. Losing in the first round when you make a bunch of trades to compete for the cup. Uh, personally, I think the mistake they made was to not get a defenseman. I don't think they needed the firepower of Andrew Ladd. I would have loved to see them get a guy like Dan Hamuse. I think would have been a great fit. Or Chris Russell, and I think went to Dallas. Um, these guys would have been, I think, a lot more valuable to Chicago's roster than Andrew Ladd. Regardless of that, uh, looks like even EA has them losing in the first round. Look at these overalls, 92, 91, and 90. That's pretty solid. And, you know, they finished the season with 106 points, but they just can't get it done. That's unfortunate. Um... I think it kind of reflects reality. They kind of had a, a playoff slump this year. Uh, is it, you know, hats off to St. Louis for, you know, winning against Chicago and beating their playoff hump, slump, whatever. Um, but still, I would have loved to see the Blackhawks go deep. You know, my ideal cup, I think, would have been Washington and Chicago or Washington and L.A., but obviously Pittsburgh by far were the best playoff team and they fully deserve it. You know, they were they had four lines. What I think LA and uh, Chicago doesn't really have. But yet again, every time somebody wins the cup, we say they've got four lines. 
uh, but Pittsburgh truly was hungry. They were blocking shots on an unbelievable scale against San Jose. So that's about it, guys, for the Sims. I hope you enjoyed it. This was the last ever episode of the What If series. The Brandon Sad trade was a pretty big one in the offseason. Uh, I personally didn't see it coming, but I guess you could see it coming because Chicago was trying to get you know, free up some cap space for the new contracts of Patrick Kane and Jonathan Tays. Unfortunately, they signed Nisimov for close to 4 mil or a little above that. And Brandon Sad's contract is at 6 mil. Now, that's not a huge saving. Really not a huge saving. So I'm kind of surprised on that. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want more of these, just please subscribe. I won't be releasing any other What If series of videos, but there's definitely going to be some more cool stuff coming. And you get giveaways every single Friday.